Welcome to The Learning Curve, the show that takes you inside the Onslow County School System and highlights what makes our school community unique. Every month, we showcase our students, our teachers, and our staff celebrating their talents and achievements. So join us now for The Learning Curve. here at Jacksonville Commons Elementary. They have hosted our chess tournaments here this year for Onslow County Schools. So we are excited to have four full days of chess, beginning with our second and third graders, and then our fourth and fifth graders, our middle schoolers, and ultimately our high school kids. We find that chess is a really interesting way for kids to connect with their curriculum. It's a great chance for all of us to see how kids are thinking, to encourage strategic thinking, to really look at a situation and wonder what would happen if something happens. And that's probably the greatest power of chess for us here in Onslow County Schools. This is about the 20th year of chess tournaments here in Onslow County Schools. This began with a simple idea between two teachers who asked, I wonder if our elementary school kids could get together and play chess one day. And for us, this is just a testimony of how a small idea can grow into something huge over the course of time and with the support of everyone from our school board to our administrators, to our teachers, and to our gifted services specialists. play and seeing how they move and what they do to try and get you in check. I like it because there are all sorts of different people and they have all of them have a different mindset and they all work differently and it's nice to have a challenge. My favorite thing about chess is probably learning all the strategies and just learning how to play it because I was taught by a really like high ranked person and it's fun to learn all the different moves and all the different strategies. My favorite part today has been how when we all get back together and we all like celebrate if even if we win or lose. My favorite thing about chess is how all the pieces get to move in different ways and how they are shaped differently. And also that there's also a lot of strategies that you can use. Event. The kids are preparing food for those that don't have access to food all across the globe. We chose a sustainable development goal of zero hunger and that's what we're focusing on this year. The kids are able to see how their effort and work can go out and help others their age around the world. Throughout the year the kids created fun spirit days on Fridays where kids in the school could pay a dollar to wear their favorite Halloween shirt, superhero shirt, crazy hair day, hat day and they raised over $3,300, so they're able to make over 11,000 meals to impact kids across the globe. The kids today learned that one in nine kids go hungry. They're also able to see that the bag of food that they prepare is one meal, and it's probably the only meal that the kids will get for, for that day, and it might be the only meal they get for the next couple of days. And they also get to see that it's just rice and soybeans and vegetables and a vitamin tablet, where here they can get pizza, chicken nuggets, french fries. So it really puts into perspective of what what other people around the globe that are suffering from hunger get to eat versus what they get to eat. My favorite part of 
the day was bringing the bucket full of the rice bags to the weighing station. I wanted to help out for people who do not have food. Today we are having our third showcase for Epic Build. The students are presenting their biography projects that they created integrating Minecraft with the research that they did on their individual person. Research is never fun, but they took research and made it interesting and into an interactive format that their character can tell when it died and play music. It can disappear, it can show. It interacts with you depending on what commands you give to the computer. Being able to integrate with the classroom learning and coding helps students take things on a deeper level. Instead of just looking at it as a book with words, they can take those words and put them into action. So we're helping them learn that learning can be fun. It takes technology and pairs it with the classroom learning, so that way we're meeting the needs on all levels, both in the classroom and with the IT. Today we have parents invited from all grade levels, K through five. They get to come out and see the hard work that their students have been doing. So each grade level had a different task. They took Minecraft aspects and created either book reports, ecosystems, biography projects, and even life cycle projects. So the parents get to see how, as a county, we're integrating technology and education together to help their children learn more effectively and a little bit deeper in ways that we never thought were possible before. My favorite part about coding is the way you can make like games, stories, um, and other stuff that can inspire people and entertain people. LaTanya Patillo, the teacher advisor to Governor Roy Cooper, was here today at Swansboro High School to recognize the girls who participated in the Girls Go Cyber Start Challenge. She came to recognize our students because we had the second most participants in the state of North Carolina, and she also got the opportunity to recognize the girls who went above and beyond teams who scored 10,000 points or higher. She also was able to take some time to walk around and look at the product that some of the girls in Mr. Jones's classes have been working on with coding and computer programming. I'm so glad that these girls have had the opportunity to be recognized on such a grand scale. The fact that they not only have somebody from the governor's office, but also Onslow County Schools officials here celebrating them, recognizing them, is just a testament to how hard they have worked, um, not just throughout the year in their CTE courses, but through their participation in Girls Go Cyber Start. Um, this is just great fuel for us moving forward and including more and more females in the area of IT. Today, 
our kids from Southwest High School and Dixon High School got together to play our annual buddy basketball game. Our kids joined up with Dixon as we have done in the last, well, since about 2013. We do it as um, part of our Project Unify to bring awareness and togetherness for the kids and make the school more aware about kids within and within special needs. I think it's important for the kids to just be together, one for friendship and just two for the awareness that it can bring and you know and, and friendships that it builds. We think everyone is a winner and so just to watch them play and just seeing the, the good times that they have, it just it speaks volume. Our goal eventually within the near future, a um, couple years, maybe hopefully it's coming up next year, is to try to get more schools to be more involved with our school other than just Southwest and Dixon and just build a, a big circle of just friendship. kids are doing today with the elementary children from Queens Creek Elementary. We're having what I call our project-based learning that we do every year, the first two Fridays in May. And they're doing, they're learning about what our kids have done during the year, building projects with their teams so that they can come out and tell the children who, when they come out about what they build, why they build, utilizing math, science, social studies, art, ag, so they could tell the little kids about different things that they have produced for them to see and how they build projects, what's the results of the projects, and help the little kids learn how to operate the projects. And this is a great site, and I wish that every elementary school, middle school in Onslow County would take an opportunity to come out to OCLC because we do have a lot of things for children to see and learn about and our students out here are more than willing to teach them about their projects and they have a great time and I believe that every school in Onslow County should have a project-based learning project going on in their school. doing tonight is we're trying to uh, bring in the community and let them see what we're trying to accomplish at Dixon Elementary School with uh, the implementation of Singapore Math. Singapore Math is a set of strategies that helps students to understand the mathematics a lot better. Um, it's a deeper understanding of the math. Um, it also helps them to gain um, the ability to use uh, mental math strategies to solve everyday problems um, and also solve advanced problems. The activities that we have going on tonight are four specific activities. We have subitizing activity. We have a number bond activity. We have our compatible and friendly number activities. And then we have our bar modeling or model drawing activities. Our goal for tonight is that the community and parents can come in and other stakeholders and see how this, this goes from a vertical progression from kindergarten, how subitizing looks in kindergarten, and then how it looks in first, and how it looks in second, all the way through to fourth grade. So we can see the progression of how this grows and how their understanding of math deepens. 
Finally, as a leader in me school, we always want to teach the, the students to be leaders. Um, and part of them being a leader tonight uh, during the Singapore Math Leadership Night is they're going to be the ones running the activities. They're going to be the experts who are going to help other students explain these activities to their parents. You have cards, you have a dice, you roll it, and what number you get, let's say I got a six. You put out six cards, and let's say I got four red cards and two black cards. You would see how many red cards you have, and that's four, and then the, the denominator is six, so the fraction would be four six. Our activity for model drawing is we have two word problems and you will solve it by using all the steps of model drawing. Why we use it is because we can get a better visual understanding of how word problems work and, and a better understanding of word problems. Today was Blue Creek Elementary's first Leadership Day. This was our first year implementing The Leader in Me, which is based on Covey's Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Um, today was the day to celebrate everything that we've done this year with the students learning the habits, learning the language, using the language, working together. Everything was student-led. So we started off today with, um, we had some student presenters, we had a couple of musical programs, and then we broke um, the participants up into groups and had student-led um, tours of the school. Uh, participants got to go into the classrooms and see the seven habits in use throughout the day with the students. So today was all about student leadership and having the students become empowered to take responsibility for themselves, their actions, and a lot of things throughout the school. That's all for this learning curve. If you'd like to learn more about the Onslow County School System, please visit our website. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook, or you can see this show and other programs about the Onslow County School System on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and join us again on the learning curve.